Extreme Foolishness TV here. This is where I talk about extreme foolishness that goes on around you. Say no to extreme foolishness by liking this video. Say no to extreme foolishness by sharing this video. Say no to extreme foolishness by hitting the bell. So that anytime I upload videos, you will be in the know. Today, I'll be talking to you guys about another recurring extreme foolishness that has been going on. And you guys know the recurring extreme foolishness. We're talking about Don, Donald Trump. He has been unhinged lately, especially after losing the November election. He has been unhinged. He has been acting like a dang fool, especially on Twitter, where he has 80 something million followers. Wow. Millions of Americans suffer. Some of them don't have money to put food on the table. Some of them cannot pay their rent. Some of them are struggling. A COVID-19 relief package was passed by Congress, by Republicans and Democrats, which sometimes is hard to do these days, but they were able to work it out. All Donnie had to do was sign. He has refused to sign. Why millions of Americans suffer? In this pandemic, he is in Mar-a-Lago golfing and pardoning criminals and goons. Isn't that extreme foolishness? Why millions of Americans suffer, don't have food to eat, they are dying every day in hospitals. The relief package that is supposed to provide aid to millions of Americans. Donnie is acting like an extreme fool and has refused to sign it. Congress should look at him and say, you know what, go to hell, Donnie because they can override his veto or his refusal to sign. They can, if he doesn't want to sign it, veto the damn thing. And they can override his veto by a two thirds majority in both the House and the Senate, which is what they should do. At some point in time, you got to stop chasing after somebody. You got to just tell me, you know what, Donnie, do as you please. Americans are watching. You have time to go golf. He has also defunded the military. He has failed to sign. He's vetoed the military aid package. That's supposed to pay uh, the defense bill. That's supposed to pay for the military. He has refused to sign. He vetoed it. And you're talking about defund the police. How people were enraged about, quote unquote, defund the police, which it wasn't really defunding the police. But you have Donnie that is actually defunding the military. Extreme foolishness, people. Why? Because he doesn't care. He's mad that he lost. And he's, he went on Twitter and twi tweeted some crap, saying that he would never forget the Republicans who did not fight for him to challenge the radical left. You know, the same lingo he uses. Radical left, radical left, radical left. He said he will never forget. This guy has lost it, people. He has lost it. He's unhinged. So he has refused to sign. I mean, I'm sorry. He vetoed the military uh, bill. They're not going to get paid. Why did he veto it? He said that there were some provisions in there to rename bases that were named after Confederate generals. Is that the reason? why you're going to defund the military. He also said that the protections for online companies and tech companies, also known as Section 230, that protects them from civil liability if a third party posts on their website. He wants that gun because he's mad at Twitter. He's mad at Facebook. He's mad at all these people who are checking his lies. So he wants the protections to go. He wants them to be sued by something posted by a third party. And think about it. That section 230 helps companies to grow. That way they don't have to be liable for contents posted by third parties on their website. You cannot verify and authenticate every single posting on a website, especially review websites, Twitter, Facebook, Yelp, Instagram, and the list goes on and on and on. But he wants the protections taken away. That is the reason why he said he has refused to sign the defense bill. And isn't that extreme foolish? People, I can't wait till January 20th, 12 noon, so he can be deuces to Donald. 
So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that he's been extremely foolish? He's busy golfing in Mar-a-Lago and pardoning criminals and goons while Americans suffer. He has refused to sign the COVID-19 relief aid, even though it was flown to him. But he's still golfing. He probably can't even play golf that well anyway. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here as a messenger. I'm here to eradicate extreme foolishness. So join the movement. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, say no to extreme foolishness.